Okay, um, I'm gonna try to show you how to cut the swing on the Valkyrie. What we gotta do is, this is my slew on the crane. If I go that way, it's gonna go that way. If I go the other way, it's gonna go that way. If I go down, then my jib, this is left for crane, my jib is gonna go down. The hook block will increase the radius. It's gonna go away from the crane. If I come towards me, then it'll do the other thing around. The hook block will come to me, uh, decreasing the radius. This side here, it's not doing nothing left and right. This is my hoist, hoisting down, going towards the camera, hoisting up, going towards me. Um, this is a mechanic system, so it, it clicks into it. So you click first gear, click second gear, click third gear, and so on. Uh, normally it has about four gears on the hoist um, and you have another three gears on the slew and about three gears on the on the jib as well um, I'm gonna hoist up now so I'm gonna go in one well one click there you go if you look at a hook you will see it coming very very slow up this gear you use normally to pick up a load um, take the bite on the load, pick up the load, and that sort of thing. Now I'm gonna start to go in second gear. So I'm gonna go another click. Here you go, it clicks into place. That's the second gear. You can see it's a bit faster. So that's good if you want to get clearance out of an area with it. many things around there. You get a bit more clearance before you start to hoist up. This is the third gear. So after you clear, you can start to go with that, have a quick look around the load. Yeah, it's all good to go. Fire up, yeah up on a wire, flat out, you know, all yours. So let's go four gear, this one. There you go. You can see it's a, little, it's a small delay on it. I'm gonna stop it now. I'm gonna come down now. So first gear, second gear, third gear. You can see the flat out now is a delay look. I'm already there. It takes two, three seconds to go. And when I stop the same thing, it takes maybe a second or two to stop it. It's, it's not going straight away. Um, so I'm going to teach you how to cut the slew. The other slew round, I'll show you. First gear on the slew, still left. Second gear. Third gear flat out, yeah? That's the one. You see it's moving, it's passing the jib and then it stops. And then the jib is, is constantly moving. Only the hook and the load will go and stop because it passes the jib sort of thing. I've got second gear. First gear, yeah, I think everything will be slower, there you go, and you stop. As you slew, the fastest you slew as well, your load starts to go in and out as well. So it's moving on the wave, like the, the load is trying to chase the top. The top is constantly moving, but the load, as it's trying to chase it, it stays behind because it loses the momentum, it stays behind this the top keeps going and then if the tension in it is slew it, it swings it back but it swings it with a force faster than the top so it passes the top and then it goes over there then it's no force again it stops and the top keeps going on top of it that's how you cut the slew you go on the top of it but because if you carry on going then it's, it's moving in waves it goes like that following the top yeah it's always going like that um, so what you want to do is to stop it, you want to be on top of it, spot on. If it's going in and out as well, then you have to follow it in and out as well on the jeep or on the trolley, depending on your crank. I'm gonna show you, just to make it easy, it's my slew right here. Make it easy, I'm gonna show you just on the slew, left and right. If it's a bit in and out, I'll cut it off. But just try to see the way it's going left and right. You normally go at 60 to 50%, depends on the speed on your crank. So you wait for that, it's a half moon, it's going left, stops, going right. Do another, I'll show you. Let me make a small swing here. Make a small swing, there you go. That's it. He's swinging, yeah? Can you see it swinging? It's a break, you can see it now. Moving, stops, coming back, stop. And it's like that all the time. Slowly will come to an end, yeah? It'll stop. But it's gonna carry on like that. So, you want to judge 
50% of that, 60 to 50, you want to follow it the same way. So you'll be on top of it. So you stop the whole thing there, yeah? So I'm gonna go right now, you go. And that's about right. So I'm going first gear, first gear, keep going, it's stopping. I carry on because the top has to be on the top of it. And that's about right. Try to knock back a little bit. Still great, here you go. Got the swing enough. So yeah, that's how you do it. You cut the swing, you have to be on top of the load. The load swings, then you have to follow. On the, on the locker jib, it's different as well. Because as you're jibbing down, your hook block will start to go down as well. So you have to work on your height as well, yeah? Create another swing, here we go. Now have a look at the hook block now. It's moving right, left, right, left, on the half moon as I say to you. So you can see the top. The top is in the same place, not moving, but that's the swing. That's how we call them, the swing is swinging still. So you want judge about from the point it stops until the point it stops again, 60% of that. When you have 60 left, you try to follow at the same speed. The faster it goes, the faster you need to go on the on the on the sleeve as well. Yeah. So let's try to catch this one. We're gonna catch him towards the left. Yeah. Let's come back, it's coming back right now. You can catch them both ways if you manage to do so. When you get more, uh, here you go. When you get more professional, then you, you can start to do that. And that's uh, me. Here you go. Let's get the swing again. So that's how you do it, yeah? Happy days. Any questions, just let me know. I'll try to have the best you can, yeah? Cheers. You're right, motherfucker, yeah. <laughs>